If you need to simplify the fraction, 7 fifths, here's how you do it. First of all, what we're trying to do, we're trying to get a fraction that's equivalent. It has the same value as 7 over 5, just that we've simplified or reduced it to lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a factor that's common to both 7 and 5. The thing is, the only number that goes into both 7 and 5 is 1. So if you take 7 and divide it by 1, you get 7. 5 divided by 1, you get 5. And that's what we started with. What that means is that this fraction, 7 fifths, it's already in its lowest terms. It's already been simplified. It is an improper fraction in that 7, the numerator, is larger than 5, the denominator. So we could write it as a mixed fraction. Let's try that. So 5 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 5, that's 5. And then we'd have 2 left over. We bring the 5 across. 7 fifths, this improper fraction, that equals the mixed number 1 and 2 fifths. And you can check that 1 times 5, that's 5, plus 2. That gives us the 7, and this 5 just brought it across. But in answer to our original question, the fraction 7 fifths, you can't reduce this any further. It's already simplified. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.